I'm going to show you how to shoot and edit a video in Dolby Vision and then upload it to YouTube. But bear in mind, Dolby Vision is only available on iPhone 12 devices. Right, first thing I need to do is go into camera settings and then video recording, then toggle on HDR video. Now everything I record, up to 60 frames per second, will be encoded with Dolby Vision, which adds a huge amount of dynamic range and color depth. Normally, smartphones record 8-bit video. As you can see here, it says HDR is 10-bit. That might not sound like much, but it's actually 64 times the amount of color information. So I shot a few clips to make up a simple coffee making sequence. The classic YouTuber intro. So if you shoot a clip in Dolby Vision, in your iPhone gallery, it tells you with this HDR in the corner. And also when you open up the clip, you can see it kind of brighten up as you select it. If you're going to use iMovie, just import the clips and edit as normal. But when you come to share the movie, tap options and then make sure the HDR toggle switch is on. Now I'm going to edit my sequence in LumaFusion, but again, we need to make sure the app is set to the correct color space. You can set it manually to Wide Gamut HDR, HLG. HLG stands for Hybrid Log Gamma. Or just leave it on based on the first clip added, and then when you add an HDR clip, if it's the first clip, it will set the color space correctly. So any clips on the timeline will use the encoded extra dynamic range. Edit your sequence and again, make sure it's set to Wide Gamut HDR HLG. And you can save to your Photos app and then upload to YouTube. Or you can actually connect LumaFusion to your YouTube channel and import it directly. Because YouTube supports Dolby Vision, after it's uploaded, you should see this HDR resolution option. Now, anyone watching your video on YouTube will see it in Dolby Vision, as long as their device also supports it. I think YouTuber coffee tastes different to normal coffee. It's definitely more cinematic.